Also new at 6 now, a lot of us have fond memories of Rocky Point. It closed nearly 20 years ago. A more shocking story from more than 100 years ago has come to light. NBC 10's RJ Heim reports on the only documented murder at the famed amusement park. It was a warm, humid August afternoon, 1893. Five-year-old Maggie Sheffield was brought to Rocky Point by her father, Frank, a former school principal from Pawkatuck, Connecticut, whose life was falling apart. That all started around the time of Maggie's birth. Frank suffered a head injury in a freak accident while ringing his school's bell. Then, Maggie's mom died of complications from childbirth a week after Maggie was born. He had told his psychiatrist on numerous occasions that he was going to kill her, and nobody did anything. He was put on cocaine and opium, legal drugs at the time. Fast forward to Shore Dining Hall. Maggie had no idea that meal would be her last. When people talk about Rocky Point, it's all clam cakes and carousels. Now, after that meal, according to park goers, Maggie was walked up over a hill, probably that one right there, by her father, where they then went over to a ledge by the bay and bashed her head in with a rock. This tragic story, while reported in newspapers, was quickly forgotten. One day it happened, the next day they had her funeral, and then, okay, you know, back to the rides. It really wasn't a big deal, and that, that's just shocking to me. For Frank, Maggie represented the loss of his wife. Frank died years later at a state hospital after being found not guilty of his daughter's murder by reason of insanity. People wanted to see Rocky Point as just a fun place where nothing can go wrong. I'm not trying to change anybody's opinion about Rocky Point, but um, this little five-year-old girl could have been anybody's little five-year-old girl. I want people to remember Maggie. Kelly Sullivan will be signing her book at the Bald Hill Barnes & Noble in Warwick this Saturday from 1 till 3. R.J. Heim, NBC 10 News.